Kenya is tightening its licensing regime for the farms coming into the country to prospect for oil and gas as the country's profile as a potential oil producer goes up. Now, the Ministry of Energy has issued new rules of prospecting uh, to the farms that will be coming to the country and this will see fees go up threefold. But now it says it is set to tighten the rules to ward off speculators and ensure that it attracts the serious explorers in the country. With increased interest in the country for oil exploration, the government is now working on a master plan on effective management of petroleum resources. The plan is aimed at introducing checks and balances to ward off companies out to fleece the country of its potential wealth. This will also change the current mode of operating where the government has an open-door policy of licensing the blocks on the basis of first-come, first-serve in favor of bid rounds. We are revising our Act, Petroleum Act, to bring it in tandem with good international practice and also to align it to the new constitution and best practice. Currently, Kenya has a total of 46 blocks, 44 of which have already been licensed to 23 international oil companies. The government is creating seven additional blocks, raising the country's potential blocks to 53. Kenya will also see seven new exploration wells drilled by the end of 2013 in a bid to evaluate hydrocarbon potential in its four sedimentary basins of Lamu, Mandera, Anza and the Tertiary Rifts. We need to prepare the government, we need to prepare even the local people to understand their expectations and their desires and then help them understand the need for negotiation. The new measures by government are not only aimed at locking off farms that are not serious with exploration but also help raise the critical revenue needed by the exchequer for development purposes. Philip Keitan, KTN Business Today.